Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about some really cool and rare things that have happened to me in the last few lucky trades I've done. So as we all know glaring birds are were introduced in the game around about two nearly three years ago now and Niantic released them in the form of an adventure incense. So a daily incense that you would get every day it will only last 15 minutes and you had a chance of encountering one of these glaring birds so all the canto legendary birds Moltres, zapdos and articuno all have their own forms of the glaring birds they were released with one of the nintendo switch games and these are in pokemon go and have been for the last two or three years and we'll put our daily incense on now as we're talking and see if any appear but with these spawns they've been incredibly rare roughly you probably only encounter if you did your daily incense every day it lasts 15 minutes as you can see on the timer on the right of the screen and if you did it every day you'd probably encounter on average around one glaring bird every 20 to 30 days which isn't really great odds and catching it is even lesser odds so the catch rate of these glaring birds when we do appear is around about 0.3 percent which isn't good at all now you can improve that catch rate with a couple of things really you can as long as you've got your platinum medal of that pokemon type so for instance we glaring zapdos is a fighting type if you've got platinum for a fighting type pokemon on your journal so you can go onto your profile scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see all your typing badges if you've got platinum on fighting like i have here that will obviously increase your chance of catching it then you've also got the increase to the odds that the curveball throw brings to you and also using a ultra ball and an excellent throw but there is a way that you can also guarantee a catch of a glaring bird and that is by using those master balls so master balls we've been having master ball researches quite a number of times now i've not actually used any of mine so i still have the free master balls in my storage i think i've just gone past them there so let's have a quick look there you can see them three master balls i haven't used a single one we've only had the research three times and i've kept them all but i have managed to get some glaring birds without using them and that was mainly down to luck but also using basically just trying to catch the lowest cp ones and trying to nail those excellent throws there's a few little tips and tricks which apparently have worked for some people including throwing pokeballs off the edge of a screen because with legendary raids the catch rate goes up when you do more throws but some people have also said that this doesn't work so they're definitely the best odds are hoping for a low cp glaring bird encounter and then doing an excellent throw and an ultra ball if you don't want to use your master ball and like i was saying before making sure that your typing of that pokemon is platinum badge so with all that i've obviously managed to catch a few of these glaring birds and when you've catched them unfortunately the ivs can be as of that as a wild pokemon so unfortunately not like legendaries when we come with a minimum of 10 10 10 on a raid they have the wild ivs so they can literally be 0 0 0 or obviously 15 15 15 if you're very lucky now with these wild glaring birds statistically going to have worse ivs people obviously tend to lucky trade them so it, they are tradable and going from that we have some 
big, big news really. And I don't know if this is a world's first, but people will correct me in the comments if they have seen this anywhere else. But a couple of months ago, I did a lucky trade for a Galarian Zapdos. So here you can see the Galarian Zapdos. And as you would have guessed from its name, it is indeed a hundo. So I've managed to level 50 this one, but with the only Galarian Zapdos that I caught at the time, it went to a hundo IV from a lucky trade, which was super, super cool. Obviously only a few people would have this hundo with just how rare it is in the game. And obviously the catch rate being so low and then the chance of it going hundo on a lucky trade. Only a few people are going to have this hundo in the game. So it's really, really cool to get one. Now, that was a couple of months ago, probably about a year ago now when I managed to get that hundo. Super, super hyped. Made sure that I did loads of Shadow Zapdos raids when they came round to get the XL candy. And then the other day, we managed, so I'll just get up all the other Galarian legendaries that I've got. So as you can see, we've managed to get a few of these now. So we've got one Articuno, which we had lucky traded again, 93 IVs on that one. And then we've still got a Moltres that we caught in the wild, but we've not yet managed to find anybody to do a lucky trade with. So that one's just sat there. And then the other day, I went lucky friends with another friend of mine and we thought we might as well do a Galarian Zapdos trade. So here's a trade screen and as you can see I was hoping for anything in the region of 1723 and lo and behold your eagle eye viewers will see this is what got sent over to me. It is indeed 1723 so two hundo glaring zapdoses i don't know if anybody's ever done that before i haven't seen anybody online who's yet posted that they have two glaring hundo zapdoses or two glaring hundos of anything so if you know of anybody let me know in the comments but is this a world's first on pokemon go it is super super lucky and i'm definitely going to have to work on getting this one best buddy and also getting it to level 50 and hopefully when the shinies get released of all the glaring birds they do look really really cool as shiny by the way their colors go of that of the canto versions so really really nice combination there and it ties in really nice with the original canto birds but is it a world's first i don't know so it is super super cool I'm going to have to work on getting that best buddy and it's probably going to be a best buddy challenge that I'm going to do. I'm going to see how quick I can get this to best buddy using a poffin every single day. I'm not going to start working on it yet. It will probably be towards the end of September when I do. But how quick do you reckon I can get this second hundo Galarian Zapdos best buddy how long will it take, do you reckon? If I use a poffin every single day, how long will it take to get to best buddy? Let me know in the comments below what you think of these two glaring hundo Zapdoses. Have you ever seen this before? Is it a world's first? Let me know in the comments if you find anyone else with two glaring hundo birds. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully these birds get legacy moves when the shiny gets released. We are all due signature moves that haven't yet been added to the game so maybe glaring zapdos might become useful if so i think i'm ready thanks very much for watching everybody please give a like on the video subscribe to the channel as always let me know in the comments below if you've seen this anywhere else thanks very much bye for now